everybody, how's it going? This is The Avengers. This is season two. This is episode number three. This episode is called The Decapod. This just made me automatically think of something along the lines of like Day of the Triffids, although I'm probably going to be really out on that guess it's just something that came into my head or maybe seeds of doom esque i i'm interested in this one quite a lot if it is along those lines gonna love it but i doubt they'd probably go down this really bizarre weird sci-fi route in this show if that ever happens it'll probably blow my mind really enjoyed last episode i liked the whole airport setting i thought that was really good and i also liked that we had this whole concept of Like, what is actually going on? Because we didn't know who we could trust. We didn't know who we couldn't trust. We had this propellant. We didn't know what the propellant was. And then we found out what it was. And it was just kind of... The whole standoff part of it toward the end, for me, just happened a little bit too quickly. But I still enjoyed watching the episode. I thought it was brilliant. I don't think I've watched an episode of this where I haven't thought that, in honesty. So going forward and having, like, an entire season to watch now, I'm going to love. So I'm going to get on into this, like, Let's go. See, I have a thing about shower curtains. I just think they're like gem collectors. I hate them. Hello? Yes? I was just taking a shower. Can't it wait till the morning? <laughs> she has a phone yes. in her bathroom. I think I found out what you want to know. But we'd better not discuss it on the phone. I'll meet you in the morning. Goodbye. I like how her being in the shower, they've just obviously like splashed water on her or she's poured like a bucket over herself or something. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. It's all right. I know this face. Why do I know this face? Come in. Excellency, this is Mr. Steed. What do I owe the pleasure? British are naturally very anxious about your security while you are here in London. That's very decent of them. Not at all. Where's he from? Not long ago, your newspapers were calling me the Balkan bandit. Oh. Well, we have an obligation to look after you while you're on British territory. This embassy is Balkan territory. That's Mr. how it Steve works. is particularly concerned about the death of the young lady. Yes, so am I. Staying here, I believe. Yes, she had one of the residential flats upstairs. That's where the accident occurred. You're quite oh. sure it was an accident? I was given to understand that she slipped as she was getting out of the shower and broke her neck. She did not slip. Isn't that what happens to that? That is what we assume happened, Excellency. He did it. Then I don't think there is any (laughs) cause for alarm. I shouldn't like a similar accident to happen to you. Thank you. I am very well protected. It's the eyes. I shall use my ambassador here as a demonstration. Uh, Stepan, uh, reach into your pocket for your wallet. I am sure Mr. C does not need convincing. Do as I say, Stepan. (gasps) (laughs) (laughs) Frank! And uh, Stepan here is my brother-in-law. Uh, my watchdogs arrived this morning, and while I'm here, they will guard me night and day. How are you? I'm fine. Good. They fancy a tour? It's very kind of you. No, I mean a singing tour. Are you serious? All the main halls. Really? What's All the, the main halls. Well, oh. The Balkans. The Balkans? Huh. Who's promoting it? You? Oh, Jakob Borg. <laughs> Sounds like a beat poet. What's the beat? By arrangement. When would you want me to start this tour? As soon as you can talk him into it. Do I get a proper contract? Of course, but don't let's rush it. We may not know if he likes you. Yeah? Cigarettes? Uh, oh, by the way, he's the minister for film production. Last year, one of his country's pictures won a Venice Award. My dear, you look more beautiful than ever. Thank you, and keep the change. Yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose there's no harm in seeing the man. I'll arrange it for tomorrow morning. How's that? Please let me take your coat. Thank you. I like how she's gone all snazzy. I see you have no hidden weapons. What a nice place you've got here. Uh, please make yourself comfortable. Would you like a drink? Oh, no, thank you. Not before an audition. It affects my breathing. I beg your pardon? Or perhaps you don't want to hear me sing at this stage. Why, yes, of course. I would love to hear you sing at any time. Well, I wasn't sure. I didn't bring my pianist. You didn't? No, but I've got him on short. Oh, 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 I, I, I wouldn't to bother. <laughs> I wouldn't bother. Yeah, if you like, we'll just... Uh, just sit sing. And talk. Okay, that suits me. And then she'll get well, information out of him. Something about my oh, man. Steed is I so clever. Be most exciting. Your attention, please. The conference will be resumed in ten minutes. Attention, new paper. La conferenza d'arriva tras dec minuta. Yeah. An excellent conference, don't you think, Mr. Steed? He's so shifty. Yes, this conference is calm. Jacob Borg was in superb form. I must say, nothing seems to worry you. He's the most fearless man I've ever met. You know, everywhere in the world, wherever he goes, he's in danger of assassination. No one trusts him. Hmm. 
This very morning he has been there negotiating a hundred million pounds worth of economic aid from the West in exchange for a few of our naval bases. If even now your foreign office suspects that in a year's time you will offer the same bases to another power for another hundred million. Will he? If we are to remain neutral, we must be fair to Quite both problem, sides. Isn't it? International blackmail, yeah. that's a dangerous thing. Oh, blackmail, Mr. Steed, we are offered the aid. You could always refuse it. Right? Yeah, Bard would never refuse money. <laughs> no. Oh, that is not for us to judge. We merely have to see that nobody thinks it would be cheaper to get rid of his excellency. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. May I speak to Mr. Smith? Oh, please? it's you at last. Well, how's it going, eh? How's it going? What is this, a white slave kick or something? They've got me locked up in here. They've even got a goon outside the door. Oh, no, it's your imagination. Imagination? Look. Haven't they got any baths in this place? He rang me up half an hour ago and said he wants me to go to the public baths with him tonight. Public baths? Well, what public baths? Oh! Everybody? See, it's kind of because of the wrestling setting it up so that you think it's one of his bodyguards that killed the lady, but I Hello. definitely think it was the Hello. ambassador. Oh, it's you, and well, I'm glad somebody's got him. Wait, is that your city? That's yes. Where is he? Who, Bob? I don't know. He and one of his goons went separately by taxi. Oh. He insisted I came in his car. I don't know why. Yes. The undefeated heavyweight champion of the Balkans, one of the president's personal bodyguards, Gorgon! Look at her face! Georgie's great big Balkan Burke! Bob going into the promoting business? These are some costumes, man, aren't they? I'm assuming they probably got people who actually do this for a living to do this and not just actors. Because bloody hell, if they did. Piece of gone, he got away. He must have been a car waiting for him and got into a taxi. If you don't mind my asking, Mr. L uh, Steve, Steve, what is your interest anyway? Yes. My interest was in the other one. The Balkan boy. You are his manager? More or less. He shouldn't have done that. I'd never known the Pekka to behave like that. I just don't know why he did. Perhaps Mrs. Uh, Ramsden, his real name was Ramsden. Perhaps Mrs. Ramsden can help us. I don't know where he is, and that's the gospel truth. Did he often lose his temper? Harry was as gentle as the lamb. Do many of your boys practice judo? Judo? The death chop is no part of judo. It comes chop. from what we call karate. What happened to you last night? You asked me to meet you at this bear pit place and then you don't show up. I really am very, very sorry. <sighs> you do know what happened, I suppose. To Georgie, yes. It must have been a fantastic fight. Just how many bodyguards do you get through in a week? A lot. Believe me, I am very sorry for Georgie. Oh, yes, I can see that. He's not going to get what he wants with her. I take it he as doesn't he did with the last that. one, uh, I guess. Yes, for a few days until my ambassador replaces Georgie. Uh, would you like a drink? Oh, no, thank you. My breathing. Oh, oh yes, of course, you see. Mm, that's right. I must come down to your club and hear you some evening. Come tonight, if you like. I should love to. Perhaps you would allow me to take you out to dinner, first of all. Hmm? And be stood up again. Only my two bodyguards and yourself knew I was going to the baths last night. <gasps> uh, they don't speak English. And, and Steed. Uh, that only leaves you? Leaves me to what? To tell someone I was going to the baths last night. I say, who was that poor girl phoning just before she was killed? <clears throat> How do you know she was phoning anyone? After you left, I took the liberty of any look around the embassy. <sighs> there were traces of soap on the telephone. So then you checked the switchboard. <sighs> yes. There were no external oh, that was clever thinking about the soap. must be internal and didn't come through the switchboard. Difficult to trace. Hmm. Let's look at it another way. There was first the girl, then the bodyguard, but no one said a go at ball. What are they trying to do? Isolate him so he's easier to assassinate. Probably. Maybe just a warning. A warning? To force him to walk out of the conference. Did they go for dinner? Oh, oh, there you are. Look, I thought you promised to stick around. Why, what's the matter? Well, it doesn't matter yet. It's just that whenever I go out with Bob, I'm nervous. Bob? Where is he? He's here with me in the club. Uh-oh, he's laughing, boys. Look, I've got to get back. you better get down here. Oh, hello. You all right? All right. Good. Is it you who wanted to see me? Come in here. Round the back. She got some info? Hey, folks. What time is the cab race start? One o'clock, sir. Oh, good show. I thought we might have missed it. You're new here, aren't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm Harry Ramston. Put him down, Harry. Okay. Told you you can trust him. He never killed anyone. He couldn't. He wasn't even there last night. Shut up. That's what I thought. Someone else in his costume. Go on, tell him, Harry. 
I never saw a bloke. I, I, I was just told to keep my mouth shut and keep out of way till it were all over. I've told him to go to the police. I recognise those legs. I've been looking for you. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't love this dude. What's wrong? Did you know that Harry Ramsden was at the club last night? Yes, I did. Well, look, I've just been talking to his wife. He's disappeared. He's missing. Yeah, I thought he'd do that. He wanted to see me about something. Yeah, if you want to bump up Jacob Bob, why not do it in your own country? Oh. <gasps> Is he too popular there, or is it some kind of personal I knew vendetta? it. I knew it straight away. It's the eyes. I've arranged for you to be arrested as soon as you leave the building. Thanks for the call. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> all right. <laughs> on my knee! <laughs> I demand asylum! That's fine. If you tried, you would suffer murder. In that case, I... I demand to be returned to my own country. I love how we were just watching no, this at the top of the stairs. If I don't, somebody else will. But I don't want that to happen. Is Steve E.D.? Yeah, he's gonna let him shoot him. Oh, man. He did say he couldn't kill him on home soil. It was strange, this, because I didn't expect this to be anything to do with wrestling or diplomats from embassies and ambassadors. And it was an interesting one, though. It kind of gave me, like, really old school, like, film noir vibes, though. Like, there were points where I was thinking if things like the third man and stuff watching this. But I enjoyed it. It was interesting seeing Steed taking on this new role. We had Venus rather than Honor, which I found interesting as well. Because I thought, especially with the fighting scenes and Things. We've seen Honor like fighting and like training with Steed to fight. So it was interesting that she wasn't in this episode because I think it would have just added that little bit more to it, actually. But in terms of the story, I for the entire time just suspected the ambassador was the one behind like the decapod disguise and was the one killing people. For it to then be like the actual diplomat guy himself, I thought that was too obvious. But that was like a clever thing for them to do because obviously me thinking, oh, that. It's far too obvious they won't do that. And they did do that. I liked that quite a lot. I liked the character of Harry, who just kind of turned up as and when, knowing that Harry was paid to not fight, but then, you know, someone took his persona on to fighting the bodyguards being killed off because they were the ambassadors employed by the bodyguard, same as the original assistant. Steed using bloody Venus to kind of get close to this guy so he could get information by promising her a tour and everything. I felt really bad for her in the end because she en ended up actually really liking the guy and was more than willing to go with him. And as she said, she phoned her landlady to stop the milk and she didn't really get anything out of this in the end, bless her. And she's probably probably a little bit more traumatised than than what you'd expect somebody to be. And, you know, having this guy, like, embezzling money and the ambassador being like, oh, the only reason why I haven't killed him already is because, you know, it would be a no-go to do it on home soil. So they waited until he was in the West to kind of get to the point where they were able to do that. But I feel like this was an interesting one. But it's interesting to say if going forward we have more episodes that are like just Steed with somebody else and not Honor. Because I just expected Honor to be in like every episode of this going forward like for this series at least so it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next one i may go watch that and i will see you guys later so thank you